insurance acts as a protection against a possible eventuality. Its aim is to reduce financial uncertainty and make accidental loss manageable. In this video, we're going to explore six types of insurance you'll likely come across in construction and understand the purpose they serve. Before we begin, if you enjoy our content, we'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get alerted when we upload a new video every Wednesday. The insurances we'll explore in this video are as follows. Public liability, professional indemnity, product liability, employer's liability, plant and equipment, and finally, contractors all risk. Okay, let's begin. First off, we have public liability. Public liability insurance can protect you against loss to third parties, i.e. non-employees to the business. This may include personal injuries and loss of or damage to property. Professional indemnity. Professional indemnity insurance can protect you against claims for loss or damage by clients or third parties as a result of the impact of negligent services you provided or negligent advice you offered. Product liability. Product liability insurance can protect you against the cost of compensation for personal injury or property arising from products you supply or manufacture. Employer's liability. Employer's liability insurance can help pay compensation if an employee is injured or becomes ill because of the work they do for an employer. Plant and equipment. Plant and equipment insurance usually covers owned or hired in plant for loss or damages. This cover sometimes includes site buildings and security devices. Contractors all risk. Contractors all risk insurance can cover for damage caused by a contractor to property or materials insured during a construction period. If you have an idea for a future video topic you'd like to see covered, let us know in the comments below. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.